just gonna go ahead and move along. Let's just move along. Can we move along? We're gonna move along. All right. I feel like we still need to do a debut of some sorts. Let's take a look. Ah, there we go. Okay, so despite the second interruption on the connection to broadcast, let's just go ahead and move on, folks. Monday Night Rawr! Welcome to Monday Night Rawr. It is I, Dizzle. We're going to start things off here with a singles match. Regarding the intrepid time traveler, our truth who was on the lookout for future Daniel Bryan, who left him during one of their space-time travels back when they were known as Black to the Future. So since then, he has been searching for blood, and the source being future Daniel Bryan. But tonight, his quest continues as he faces on Haku. So let's go ahead here and make our way to the fighting pit, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Look at that hair on Haku. It's fantastic. We are back, MSK. Here in Belfast, Ireland. Our truth. I don't think I can hear his music. But... Oh, there he is! The intrepid time traveler. You saw he just drove through a time portal of some sorts bringing his music with him in a nifty motorcycle he says he is on a hunt he is on a mission to find future Daniel Bryan
Quesadilla, good to see you. Just the connection went out, MSK, usual shit. Oh no, microphone's on, should be on, can you hear me? Waiting for them to make the intro. Haku, ooh, rocking the purple gear. Lock up now. Side headlock takeover by R Truth. Pounding the Kiki Fro of Haku. Picks him up, drops him across the knee. Pounding weight, the small in the back. Haku now picking him up, trying to stretch him out, make him submit before the match has even started. Slap in the back of the skull of the intrepid time traveler. Our truth. Ooh, blocks that big back elbow, though. Catches Haku. Lifts him up. Drops him down on the back of the neck. Nice sweep of the leg there. As you can see, Our truth has definitely learned some new tricks on his travels with future Daniel Bryan last season. Of course, future Daniel Bryan saw that if they continued their friendship, it would ruin the space-time continuum itself, causing it to implode. So he had to leave him. R-Truth just felt like he left him in order to... better make gain for himself. So since then, he has been on the hunt. Haku catches the leg. Trips him out, slamming the back of the head of R-Truth onto the sledgehammer into a single leg crap. Pound to the back there two times. Haku now got the hammer, but no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here comes the drop. Swinging to the side as well. Haku's neck definitely capturing the pain of that. Shoot now sporting him to the top. What is he going to go for? Tries to go for a big body splash. No water in the pool, but quickly back to his feet. Machado, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. Better than Haku, who just suffered that neck breaker. Haku now bringing up those stairs. Knock it down, our truth. Nice arm deck takedown there by R-Truth. I'm very impressed. Uh, according to scientific studies, Haku's throw has been measured as a weight of two and a half football stadiums. Well, there's actually a pillar we could kind of see through as Jesus, Haku, causing the camera to shake with those strikes to R-Truth. Reverse, drops him down on that hard steel frame. And now finding his way back, putting the blows with the same amount of thrust back to Haku. He turns him I can't believe this shit's in the way. Drops him down face first onto the fucking... R-Truth now throwing Haku back inside. Thank goodness for that, too. Whips Haku into the corner. Turns around. R-Truth after reversing him. Off into the ropes. Spine buster throw down there.
And now, trying to make either our troops submit or just feel an excruciating amount of pain with no let go. In general, oh, our truth now getting his way out. They're grabbing onto the back of the head, dropping down all the weight on the chin. The back elbow now escaping Haku's grasp. The Haku picks him up. Give me a big Samoan drop. There it is. As Haku makes his way back onto the outside. It goes underneath the ring. It is King Haku. Ooh, cracks him on the back of the head. Our truth whipping Haku dead center of the ring now. He hops back in. Grove drops him down. Hi, Valkyrie. Two count only. Two count only. Was it late, Valkyrie? I, I really wouldn't know. I didn't think I got any. Snapmare take takeover and a big chin lock. Did you see that whip of authority there by R Truth? No, I really didn't wouldn't know. Or I didn't notice at least. And now Archery picking him up. Oh man! The backpack to the future. One, two, no! Haku kicked out, but he's been busted open. And I don't know if that's really in the favor of R-Truth. If anything, I think it's just gonna make Haku angrier. Oh, straight punch to the throat. One, two. No, Haku fights it out. Faith Buster. Truth is going to have to probably dig down deep for something to put away this monster known as Haku. Catch him up. Oh, there it is. The little Jimmy. One, two, three. And Haku is down. The intrepid time traveler. Our truth is victorious. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this match. Face buster right there. Right there in the corner, perfectly placed, little Jimmy. Asking the fans, what is up? Well, we didn't capture the microphone on that part. <laughs> what? It's the echo. <laughs>
Okay, how about that? Uh, it's hard to tell if it's an illusion or not. <laughs> All right. So earlier on, folks, we had a... We had a... Uh, well, we restarted the match, I should say, of the Lucha Buzzards taking on the Ministry of Aura Aura Orbit in what was in a anticlimactic finish. The Ministry of Aura Aura Orbit lost their matchup against the Lucha Buzzards, causing them to retain the titles. Yeah. So, therefore, we will uh, be definitely figuring out who will be the challengers for those tag team titles come Survivor Series. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there, folks. We will have a traditional Survivor Series elimination-style match. Uh, I'm only going to put one, mainly because I don't know how these shits work. So, And plus, who knows? Who knows? But uh, we will have some title defenses for that big event coming up and um, yeah should be a lot of fun hmm. all right Let's go ahead. Yeah, I think that's definitely how they work there, uh, Valkyrie. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, Survivor. Yikes. That is rough. Well, folks, we're going to go ahead and move things on here as Diamond Bo Dallas Page is going to take on a debuting talent here. One Mr. Kevin Owens. Curious to see how Mr. Owens holds up here at the WFWF family that beats up on each other, I mean. I'm sure he will be just fine. I have faith in the gentleman. Comes former WFWF champion, self high five, Bo. What the fuck is that noise? <laughs> the audience noises are weird in this.
Here he comes. Wow. You gentlemen, Mr. Kevin Owens Hart. According to these notes, Kevin Owens Hart, a long lost descendant of the Hart family. No, I fucked that up. <laughs> The fans are definitely left in shock. Here we go now is Diamond Bo Dallas Page. Nice wrist lock reversal there. Diamond Bo Dallas Page now taking down the young Kevin Owens Hart. Moves him in. Oh, almost hit referee Dave Coulier moonwalking. Nice spinning back elbow there by Diamond Bo Dallas Page. Owens now whipping him off into the ropes. Which then blocks the shot. Diamond Bow fighting back. Short arm clothesline. Nice reversal short arm shoulder tackle. Nice knee to the midsection. Kick to the chest. And another one there flooring down Diamond Bow Dallas Page. And Bo now kicking the leg out of the leg of Kevin Owens' heart. Those men, ooh, catch them dead in the face with that back elbow. Owens now with a back body drop, toss over. Get him up. Snap suplex into the corner. It's a bit of a technical bout here between these two as Owens being brought back by Diamond Bow. Hits him with a big atomic drop. Big stiff elbow dropped in the back of the skull. Goes for the cover. No. Picks him back up. Excuse me. Breaks the eyes. Goes Kevin Owens hard. Ducks the clothesline from behind. That's close. Yeah. Oh, 
clubbed in the back of the skull, causing him to bounce off the rope's throat first. Owens now off again. Back body drop by Diamond Boat Dallas. Ooh, and a toe point to the shoulder blade of Kevin Owens' heart. Whipping him around now. Definitely putting this youngster to work. This club to the back of the skull. And outside goes Diamond Bow Dallas. It's all right, Valkyrie. It's Monday. And it's cold out. So... Owens now putting the stairs down across the abdomen of Diamond Bow Dallas. But he just keeps coming back. Diamond Bow said that his mission is to regain the WFWF title. To bring back on the top once again. Oh, swinging suplex. Almost catching his head onto that pole. Belly to belly. Owens Hart, actually, MSK. Kicks in the midsection. Package pile driver on the outside. Cover. Diamond Bow kicks out at the last second. On the outside, Owens Hart cannot believe it. He's up with a toe point on the back. Now just straight up choking the life of Diamond Bow out. Tried to go for a kip up, but it did not work. He picks him up. Throws him face first into the pole. Swinging suplex in the back. Cover. Two count only. Says referee Dave Coulier. And now Owens positioning him. Oh, German suplex into the fuck table. Owens goes for the cover once more. Or no. Wants to dish out more punishment, trying to twist off the head of Diamond Bow Dallas Page. I'd say he's pretty damn close to doing so. Slamming him down. Now picking him back up. Well, he tripped. Smart move by Owens, though. Thinking the man was exhausted enough to try to go for a pin. Ooh, catches a lifting knee to the face, trying to shoot in. Probably for a toe pick on Diamond Bow. But side slamming him. Now both men fighting back to their feet. Owens goes to the cover. One, two. Do no! Still some fight left in Diamond Bow. As he kicks him in the ass. Does that cover? One, two. Two count only. Against the pole he goes and thrown again by Diamond Bow. Throw him on the inside. Big elbow to the face. Diamond Bow running back inside. Could be going for the top. Yes, he is. Timing pretty fast. Elbow drop to the lower back. He picks up Owens. Puts him into the corner.
And oh, this could not be good. Oh, super backdrop. One, two, no! Owens still fighting. Owens booting his way out. Let's go for something, but Diamond Bow gets right behind him once more. Owens now doing the best that he can to stay in control of this bout. As he picks him up, drops him across any old-school Dean Malenko-style gut buster. Big senton by Owens Hart. Two count only. Another big set time by Kevin Owens Hart. Three count. There it is. Thought for sure this would have been a green lesson for the newcomer. Kevin Owens Hart. Right here is that Malenko style gut buster. And a big senton splash onto the former world champion. And another big senton splash right there. The simple roll-up pin right there. Putting all of his weight down on the shoulders and legs of Diamond Bo Dallas. Causing it for a roll-up. Whoa, it's with the buck teeth they gave him. <laughs> oh, it does not have that kind of teeth. What the hell? <laughs> that's true this is Owen's heart completely different okay let's take a look here see what else we can do for the day alright let's see here Why does everybody keep saying I'll see myself out? Like, I feel like I'm not in on the joke. Okay. Interesting. Right out. All right, let's go to make our way here as the 50-foot Rye Blake makes his return 
to WF. WF to take on the Cobra, the Kokeshi Cobra of the Snake Shadow Domination. Of course, referring to Santino Morella, one of the longest reigning uh, technical champions of WF. WF. Fifty feet, me, Gwar. Fifty feet, me, Gwar. Fifty feet, me, Gwar. Blake up. It's fifty feeding time. Hello, Nate. As the fifty foot Rye Blake, Mr. Feed Me Gwar himself. Sporting some interesting entrance gear. Uh, that's the 50 foot Rye Blake. Thank you very much. Mr. Feed Me Guar. Can take on the Kokeshi Cobra. 50 foot Rye Blake versus Santino Morella. Every day, Koye sounds with a bell. Now, the 50-foot Rye Blake says that this is... Whoa! Throwing Santino onto the outside already. 50-foot Rye Blake said this is going to be his season. An underdog favorite for the tournaments, titles, all that jazz. And now those boxing jabs by the Kokeshi Cobra met with a German suplex on the outside. 50-foot Rye Blake says he will win this year. With a power bomb, stiff onto the outside. Ooh, and a knee to the back of the head. As Santino, the Kokeshi Cobra, being thrown about and manhandled by the 50 foot Rye Blake. Oh, thrown down on the belly. Cover. No count. Santino is still fighting it out. Now the shoulder claw, the 50-foot Rye Blake. Trying to pinch the nerves. It's thrown down, stomped about. A back elbow reversal. High Kiba elbow. Ooh, a straight jab right to the abdomen with that table. Now working the back. And another one. Goes in for a sleeper hold. This could just be a stinger. Throws him off. Ooh, and a chest bump as the right blade goes for the cover. One, two, no! Two count only. Uh oh, we're back to the pillar. Right blade now trying to pound the skull 
while squeezing the air out of the lungs of the 50-foot Ryblake. Drops down on the chin. Boxing jabs. Throws him into the corner of the guardrail. Oh, Drives is going to go for the Kokashi. No, met with a reverse DDT. Onto the apron cover. Count two. Trips at the legs. Oh, this can't be good. Picks up Kokeshi Cobra. Powerbomb. Oh, for the deadlift. Second powerbomb. And a third powerbomb. Onto the uncarpeted area. Cover. One, two, no, not enough. Rye Blake staying on top of the former technical champion. He was a long reigning champion for no, re you know, not just for any reason. He's a hell of a fighter. Go two out of three falls every match he defended that belt. This is definitely a test here for Rye Blake. Test of will and a Blake Pack stunner. Not enough. And now Rye Blake in trouble. As Santino. Oh, gets back elbowed onto the rail. Or the rampways, excuse me. I'd like picking him up for a big suplex. That uncarpeted, unpadded territory is definitely getting a workout today. As Ryblake like whips him out hard into the ring. Elbow to the cheek. Picks him up. Boot to the head. Sweeps the leg up from behind him, slamming his head down in the corner. The Kokeshi Cobra is now ready to strike. Just to see how tough this Ryblake kid is. Picks him up. The, that's the corner, by the way. Kokeshi! Playing the trombone of victory. Picks him back up. Clothesline. Clothesline. Ducks under. Power slam by the Kokeshi Cobra. The sign of the cross winds up. Headbutt. Cover. Two count only. And now Santino down in the corner out into the street. Sorry. Credence reference. Grasping the knee. But the 50-foot Rye Blake is not done with him. Everybody's going to go for the, the beard shock. It's been a strike back and forth between these two. Slams him down. Close line by the Ryan Blake. Ducks under. Back body drop. And a placement spine buster by the Ryan Blake. Who now picking up? Santino gets dropped onto the chin.
Could be it. Oh, got you! One, two, three. No! Ryan Blake fights out. And Santino is a loss for words. Let's go for a jab, but Ryan Blake blocks it away. Hooking him up this time. Face buster. Sweets the legs out. Turn to the side. Santino flips him over. What's he going to go for now? Ooh, a stunner to the arm. Trying to break it. Pop it out of the socket at least. Dislocation. Cover. No, a two count. And the beard shot dead center of the ring. One, two, three. And Rye Blake has defeated the longest reigning technical champion in Santino Morella. This is definitely a big victory for the big guy. For the beard guy. Fifty feet. Me war. That was frightening. <laughs> Damn right, scraping the plate. You don't snort crack cocaine. Somebody believes that the Rye Blake still got it. War 50 feet, me. War 50 feet, me. War 50 feet, me. War 50 feet, me. War. Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did he say? Fuck. 50 feet me war. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you, no, no, no. You got to get your own on this one, man. This is so good. He said, fuck. All right. Oh, did he? Pasta sounds good. All right, hopefully we're going to see how long this uh, particular debut is going to take as the naked boy Ric Flair is going to take on the debuting Ken Shamrock. But uh, lately, backstage, we've been seeing Ken Shamrock hanging out with the lights of Finley and Sheamus and Balor. I hope it's not as bad as I think it's going to be. Let's go ahead and make our way to the fighting pit, ladies and gentlemen. Is Ryan Shamrock in this game? 
We're live here in Nashville, Tennessee. Here comes Shamrock Ken. What? As Shamrock Ken makes his way into the ring. We, it, we have the sources to do it, so I guess... Oh, look at that happy smile on the face of Shamrock Ken. Certainly did, Riz. But here comes All Bang as the naked boy, Ric Flair, is in the house. Cam Sh Camrock Shen? Fuck me. Shamrock Ken is ready to fight. And here comes the naked boy picking him up. Back body drop. Not even a lockup. Now just hooking the nostrils of Shamrock Ken, who kicks the leg out of the leg of naked boy Ric Flair. Dropping him across the knee. That move has been known to finish a man off. Back close by my Shamrock Ken. Whimsical elbow. And Shamrock Ken here says that he's one of the enforcers of the men of the Isles. The man's not even Irish, I don't think. Is he? I don't know. His last name is Shamrock. I kind of have a feeling that's the only reason they allowed him in the group. Ric Flair now comes up, drops the fist. Stomps down onto the midsection, brings him back up to his feet. Big scoop. No, misses that slam. Oh shit, capture German suplex. Towards the corner. Oh, kick across a chest. The naked boy trying to grab the debuting Shamrock Ken. He goes underneath the ring to try to find something to make it a little more fun. But Flair grabs him in the back of the head and slams him down to the mat. They're trying to snap the neck of Shamrock Ken. The booking committee was certainly smart with this one when they decided to give him a fight. Basically not to the death, but to the pain. In Naked Boy Ric Flair, that man has done some crazy shit in his time. He took on Brock Lesnar when he was just a guest of his in several matchups in the same night. The man doesn't wear shoes, knee pads, elbow pads, no padding of any kind to the ring. Once wrestled our season finale completely nude against the legendary West Hollywood Hogan. Storm of Night suplex there by Shamrock Ken. To get up those ton stairs. Drops him down. Lifts up. And another drop down to the nards. And now the back of the leg. This Shamrock Kid is a prick. And now gets floored by one punch of Ric Flair, the naked boy. Gets reversed, though. The Shamrock Ken gets back elbowed by Ric Flair. Hit him with the kitchen sink. Just quick kick to the back. It's a bit, oh shit! Oh, launching! Shamrock Kevin, the back body drop onto those stairs. 
That does not feel good, I could tell you that. Shoulder tackle. Thrown back inside. Very good boy, Ric Flair grabs him. Come across the throat. Brings him into the center of the ring. The naked boy sides him up. Rolls the knee right across the eye socket. The orbital bone of Shamrock Ken. One, two, no, two count only. Nice judo takedown by. Oh, and the naked boy slapping. Shamrock Ken across the face, knocking him out. Here's a stiff elbow drop. Picks him up, trying to work that knee. Snaps it down on the shin. Could this be enough? One, two, no, not enough. Flair getting a little frustrated. What if I never find Charlotte? Into the corner. Powerbomb! As Shamrock tried to go for the Rana. Now Nigga Boy sizing him up. Oh shit! Oh! Face first into the turnbuckles! With that alley oop bomb! One! Two! Three! Good night! Woo! Now where? Now, right here, look at look at this. Right, the, the, man, that was horrible. Is that rolling knee drop by Ric Flair? In which case, he only got the two count. Dropping him across the knee. Trying to pop out the shin bone dead in the leg. But then, right here, the naked boy sizing him up, waiting for him to come back too, so that he can meet his maker. Shades of the whoopsie Charlotte. Look at this. Boom! Face first into the turnbuckles. One, two, three. Beautiful ring general placement. I did it! Ric Flair feels like it's his last match ever. I think it's just because he's drunk. Now where's Charlotte? All right, folks, that's going to go ahead and do it for us <laughs> here. At WFWF Raw, let's go ahead and watch Raw in the real world together. Follow this channel. Follow me at Dino Winwood on Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. As we're going to be laying down some groundwork here for the matches of the Survivor Series. Until then, folks, I love you very much. This is Dino Winwood saying OU818.